have you ever wondered how to read an ovulation test? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. My name is Nurse Casey and I'm a medical advisor with Premom. Don't forget after this video to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you can be notified when we release new educational videos. How to read an ovulation test. This is a really great question and lucky for you, we have this amazing tool called the Premom app. The Premom app helps you identify if your test line is darker than or as dark as the control line. So there is no second guessing, there is no squinting your eyes to see if that test line is the same, greater than, less than that control line. You're gonna start testing after your period ends. So grab your kit, open it up, Pull out that strip, dip it in your urine, wait five to 10 minutes. Your LH is likely going to be low right after your period ends, but you'll notice it progressively start to get a little bit darker as you're approaching that fertile window. Week one of testing, you may notice a low result as well, anywhere from maybe like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Your LH may fluctuate up and down just slightly throughout that first week as you're approaching your fertile window. But once you get into that fertile window, you may notice your LH go up a little bit higher and higher and higher. We call this a gradual peak. When it's taking a couple of days to increase, that's a gradual peak. And a rapid peak is when your LH goes up and down within that 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours really, and could be gone quickly before you even realize, which is why it's really important that you test twice a day during your fertile window. Once you find that peak, your test line is going to be as dark or darker than the control line. Use the Prima map, scan all of your tests, and the Prima map is easily going to identify where your LH stands. And if you're close to that peak, or if maybe you still have a couple of more days of testing until you reach the peak, there may be a potential that you have multiple high levels of LH throughout your cycle. This can be common for some women, especially those who have PCOS, but that's okay. Keep testing. We're waiting for that ultimate peak, which is going to be the highest result of your whole cycle. And that's going to happen about 24 to 36 hours before the egg is released and ovulation happens. Okay, so let's review. How do you read your ovulation test strip? You're going to look at the two lines. One is going to be the control line and the other is the test line. The test line is looking at your luteinizing hormone in your urine at that current moment and comparing it to the control line, which is we want that test line to be as dark or darker than the control line for a positive result. That's what we're looking for is for those to be somewhat equal or even a little bit darker. And that's a good sign that ovulation is approaching. I want you to use the Premom app. The Premom app is a great tool to help you really know what's going on with these lines. So you don't have to second guess yourself and think, is that as dark as the test line? Or is my test line as dark as the control line? Or is it a little bit darker than what it was yesterday? It's an amazing tool and I want you to use it to help you really understand where your luteinizing is throughout your cycle. I also want you to download the free Premom app because in the app we have so many amazing tools to help you understand more about ovulation testing, what you can do, tips and tricks, and do's and don'ts. So don't forget, download the Premom app and head there today to check out all of our great information. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you can be the first to know when we release new content.